So what is CTE? Well, the acronym stands for Career and Technical Education, but a lot of people don't know what that means either, so let's clarify. While many classes in school focus on traditional subject areas like science or social studies, CTE courses focus on the skills you need for a career pathway. CTE courses help students understand the industry as a whole, as well as teach specific skills that you'll need on the job. There are lots of career pathways available to study, and no matter what you want to do when you graduate, you can find something that will help you secure great jobs in the future. In Hickory Public Schools, we have 16 different pathways to choose from. At the middle school level, we have courses like Career Exploration that expose students to a variety of careers and broaden their ideas of what is possible for them after high school. We also teach courses like Keyboarding and Microsoft Office to expose students to tools they'll need to get through high school and in most careers. And some students may get the chance to take classes that focus on technology, health science, engineering, and coding to give students a taste of what they may experience in more technical fields. At the high school level, students have more choice in what courses they take and have the opportunity to explore these career pathways much more thoroughly. Many of these courses include the opportunity to earn certification in specific skills that you can put on a resume or include in college applications. You can find information about each one in the Pathway Guide link in the video description, but we'll spotlight some of them here. Keep in mind as we go through these that every student will take at least one CTE course in high school, so choosing one or more of these options will not take away your ability to take honors classes, advanced placement classes, band, chorus, and so on. In fact, some of our CTE courses are honors and advanced placement courses, meaning you can earn a bump in your GPA and the potential for college credit while you're still in high school. So let's take a look at some of the options students have available to them in high school. The accounting pathway is for students who are interested in the finance industry, and skills learned in these courses can help you become a financial analyst, banker, stockbroker, and more. You'll also learn some good life skills related to managing your own money better, and for the parents watching this, we all want that for the next generation, right? Adobe Academy is a pathway that gets students ready for careers in graphic arts, graphic design, and publishing. In Adobe Academy courses, students learn how to use cutting-edge software like Photoshop, InDesign, and Dreamweaver to produce high-quality graphics and video. The Automotive Service Pathway gets students into the garage, gaining hands-on experience with vehicle maintenance. This is a great set of courses for students who want to work as service technicians, mechanics, engineers, and for any student who just has a passion for cars. The Carpentry and Construction Pathway includes lots of hands-on activities with building materials, in addition to thinking through the planning and design decisions that go into architecture and construction. We have several computer science pathways that help students develop skills used in the information technology field. If you're interested in computers from managing databases to developing video games, there's something here for you. For all the foodies out there, we have some pathways for you as well. Foods and Nutrition, as well as Culinary Arts. They have some overlapping concepts, but there are differences between the two. Regardless of which you choose though, cooking and eating will be part of your classwork. Yummy. Health science is a growing industry in our region and has been especially critical of late. If you're interested in the medical field, we have the emergency medical technology and nursing pathways to help you pick up some of those skills early on. Do you want to be your own boss and start your own business? If so, you'll want to look into the entrepreneurship pathway where you'll learn skills to help you become a successful business owner. Interior design is an often misunderstood pathway that people think is just about decoration. I can assure you that is not the case. In addition to making a space look great, interior design courses will help you understand all the design decisions that go into making a space safe, functional, and pleasing to the eye. For those who love the sports world, there's sports and entertainment marketing. If you want to work in sports but you aren't an amazing athlete, or if you are an amazing athlete but you want to make sure you can work in the industry even after retirement or injury, this is a great set of courses to get you started on that path. Project management is a group of courses that are beneficial in any career. In these courses, students learn how to be effective in the workplace with organization skills, time management skills, and leadership skills that are sure to help you be successful no matter what career you pursue. Last but certainly not least is drone technology, a set of courses that prepares students for usage and certification with drones. As drone technology becomes more widespread and more easily accessible, this industry is becoming more and more competitive, and these courses will help you get a leg up on the competition. As you can see, career and technical education classes support a very broad range of career choices, and I would argue that no matter what career you plan to pursue, there's a CTE class that would help you. 
If you've made it this far and you still haven't heard about a CTE class that interests you, I want you to contact this team using the link in the description below. On this team, you have educators at the school level, Gene Turner at Hickory High, Josh Cornwell, that's me, at Grandview and Northview, and Natasha Stiles at HCAM. Depending on your question, we may ask the folks on the top row, Dr. Timothy Sims, Karen Ingram, and Janet Der Littman, but they serve all the schools rather than just one or two, so your answer will probably come from one of the career development coordinators. We look forward to hearing from you and working with you.